Hello my beautiful viewers, so today I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of my favorite products for the month of January. Before we get started, I did want to give you a little bit of background on myself, just so you can kind of get a sense as to why I really enjoy using these products. Don't worry, I'll keep it short and simple. So I recently graduated in June, and I've been working full time since then. I'm also very involved in a couple of organizations. One of them is American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE, and the other one is Seroptimist, an organization that focuses on bettering the lives of women all around the world. So you can just imagine, I work my eight hours every day, and then usually after that I have either a meeting or some type of event to attend. So I need my makeup to last from maybe 6, 6.30 in the morning all the way up until maybe 9 to 10 p.m. when the event ends. So, yeah, let's get started. So the first item that I love using just to kind of prep my skin for long wearing makeup because they tend to be very drying at times is coconut oil. <laughs> I use it, I'm pretty obsessed actually. I, I use it for anything and everything on my hair, internally, on my face to moisturize, to remove my makeup. I just love coconut oil and I love using that at night before I go to bed and even in the morning before I start putting on my makeup. When I'm not using coconut oil, I like using Michael Todd's anti-aging facelift. Figured, you know, why not prevent if you can. So I love this and as you can see, I've I've made a little dent in it and I really, really enjoy it. It's a little tacky, but it just, it goes on very smoothly and then your face really absorbs it quickly. So it's, it's really nice because you don't have to sit around and wait for your face to absorb your moisturizer before you start applying your foundation. So it's it's quick and easy in the morning and I just absolutely love it. And once I'm ready to apply my foundation, I tend to kind of rotate between two of them. Uh, my favorite is Estee Lauder's Double Wear and I'm sure you've heard a ton of great stuff about this on YouTube already so I won't go into much detail about it but it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous, long lasting and it just, it does everything that I want it to do and it, it just it stays on my face very nicely, even though I am a bit oily. And the color that I use is 3W1 Tawny. Beautiful. I love it. Love it. But I am still trying to pay off my college loans, so I try to avoid using that as much as possible. I try to kind of leave it for special occasions. So when I'm not using that, which is almost every other day, I like using uh, the Revlon what is this called? Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup. It's absolutely gorgeous and I knew I know this was huge on YouTube maybe half a year ago as well and I know it's died down a lot but I still love using it and I use it every single day. So at the moment I'm using 320 which is Warm Golden. It does have a pinky undertone and so it doesn't match me perfectly but I'll explain how I fix that in a bit. And when I'm a little bit more tan I like using 370 which is natural tan. So these are the two colors that I use and sometimes I do mix and match them but at the moment I'm kind of just sticking to 320. Absolutely gorgeous. And it honestly doesn't matter which foundation I'm using or even if I'm if I decide I'm not going to use a foundation underneath it but as my corrector, as my concealer, um, what I use to really brighten underneath my eye area is Kevin Aquan's Essential Skin Enhancer in SX10. It's slightly light for me, but it just it does a great job of really highlighting those areas. So I really, really enjoy using this. And although it is pretty pricey, when you compare it to how long it's going to last you, I honestly think it's it's even more inexpensive than drugstore makeup. So once I've applied my makeup, I like to set everything using usually a loose powder. I tend to gravitate towards those more than I do to uh, maybe a pressed powder. So my favorite for a really, really long time was um, the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Absolutely amazing. I'm sure, once again, this is a favorite on YouTube, so I'm sure you've heard plenty about it. Uh, but as you can see, I, I went through an entire thing of this, uh, which takes a pretty long time. Um, and I didn't want to use it all up, so I decided to finally try something a little bit different. And I'm so glad I did, because I'm kind of obsessed with this now, too. I know, I know, I'm super late on this, but uh, my favorites at the moment are by Mer Bare Mineral. It's their matte foundation. Just because, like I mentioned before, I do tend to get pretty oily as the day continues, so I like to start off a little bit matte. I love using the one in uh, Golden Medium, W20, to really highlight certain areas in my face and this really helps me correct my foundation if it had maybe the wrong undertones. It just it does a great job. I absolutely love using this. And then I like Golden Tan W30 to uh, just kind of contour and bronze my face up a bit and just to add some dimension back to my face. And to really help me with the whole bronzing tan look, I love using this which is by MAC. It's in Blunt and it's just absolutely beautiful. It has a bit of a reddish undertone so you do want to be a little bit careful with this especially if you are um, lighter and I I think it just it looks great because if you're trying to fake a tan you kind of want to go with something with 
more of a red undertone as opposed to an orangey one because when you tan and, and you burn a little bit you get more of that red in your skin as opposed to orange so if you want something a little bit more natural try to stick with uh, products that have more of a reddish undertone along those same lines I absolutely love 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 Exhibit A by NARS it really helps me fake that tan once again and I just think it's beautiful it's a little bit scary but honestly a little bit goes a long way and I've had this for several months now and it looks pretty much new because you honestly need this, the tiniest bit. Absolutely gorgeous. Moving on to eyes now. So for the longest time I was pretty obsessed with the Naked palettes. I had the Naked 1 and Naked 2 and I never went and got the Naked 3 just because I still had so much product left in both of my palettes and I tried to be good so I didn't go out and buy the Naked 3 palette. Then I lost my Naked 1 palette so then I just had the Naked 2 and that just kind of became my favorite by default. But then during, uh, what was it, the Cyber Monday sale I decided to pick up these two bad boys and I'm honestly so 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 glad I did because these are my favorites now I just absolutely love them and I love the fact that you have so many options these matte colors really just let you come up with a lot more different looks because you can put them in your crease you can put them on the outer corner you can do an all matte look you can switch it up and so it's just I find I like this a lot more than I like some of my naked palettes or actually, I just have one now, sorry. I like it more than I like my naked palette. But if I did have to pick between these two, I'd have to go with the number two one. Just because I think these colors look a lot better um, on my skin tone, my undertones. So if you, I don't know, if you're something similar to what I look like and um, you're looking to purchase one of these or trying to choose one, I'd, I'd recommend that you go with this one. Some of my favorite colors here, for example, are, um, I love this color rose, which is what I'm wearing now. I love snow, which is what I'm wearing now. Um, and I really, really just enjoy all of these colors. You can never go wrong with a black and a nice um, charcoal color. These are all matte on top, all shimmery at the bottom, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really like this. As far as eyeliners are concerned, I love uh, L'Oreal's Telescopic Waterproof Eyeliner. This is truly waterproof and truly smudge proof. It looks just as great maybe 14 hours later as it did when I first applied it in the morning. So this is one of my holy grail items. I've been using this for years and absolutely, absolutely love this. On my waterline, however, I love using Hourglass's uh, Mechanical Gel Liner in Obsidian. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's super black. It's a matte black and it just... It, it does a great job compared to other eyeliners. I don't really have to worry about it um, kind of feathering out. I, I have a problem all of the time because I smile and I laugh so much and I'm I'm a bit of a laugh or cry type of person. So I, I do worry about it kind of coming out and smudging on the outer corner outer corners and inner corners and it's the worst when you've gone ahead and, and put in a highlight color or very light color on the inside because then it's super noticeable once you start getting some smudging there. So um, this product keeps that at a minimum. I don't have to worry about it as much as other eyeliners and I just really really like this. I love it a lot actually. It's super smooth. The tip is tiny so it just gives you a ton of control. It's great for your waterline and uh, yeah I don't know. I really like this. Moving on to hair products. So I do have highlights as you can see and sometimes it's a little hard to maintain them especially if you have a busy schedule. So one of my favorite little tricks is using a dry shampoo. Not only that but it also helps you not wash your hair as often and I tried to go maybe two three days without washing my hair and this just really makes that much easier you don't have to worry about looking super oily or greasy or anything like that so this is by Lush and it's their no drow dry shampoo and I have heard many many people say that you don't have to worry about this leaving any type of residue or that white cast or anything like that and I'm going to have to disagree a little bit but it's not a bad thing so I do have very dark roots and so when I go a while without touching up and, and getting my highlights done again, I need something that's going to maybe light in my roots a little bit and this really does that for me. I just absolutely love it and if you want to see a tutorial on how I use it, let me, down, let me know down in the comment section and I'd be more than happy to do that for you. One of my favorite products for keeping uh, my hair shiny and just looking great, I'm not wearing it right now, uh, but I, I love using this when I do a lot of my heatless curling methods uh, just because in the morning it really helps me to find those curls and I, I just absolutely love this it makes my hair feel amazing and it just almost fakes healthy hair when you do have um, 
damaged hair like like I do so I really really like this it's by BioSilk it's their silk therapy this is the original one it's in the large bottle uh, just because I go through lots of small ones a lot so I finally decided to pick this one up and that's it I really really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to comment subscribe and to share my videos you have no idea how much it helps me out thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my future videos bye Mwah.